This is hydrogen tap one. What you're looking at is four batteries hooked in series together. Each one of these voltmeters is hooked to one of the batteries, so we get a, a view of the actual voltage. This is my setup that shows us the voltage across all four batteries together and the amp reading, which is now 16 amps approximately. We're using four five and a half inch by three inch stainless steel plates and producing a lot of gas. This is the second of two tests that I'm making with a high voltage. The first one was with two batteries, I believe, 24 volts. This one is with four batteries. After doing the second test, I can see no reason not to do a test measuring the capacity or the output of the gas. What we have to do is set up a system that will measure the output of the gas, 15 amps with the four batteries and 15 amps with one battery. For some reason, I'm getting the feeling that I think we're going to show an increase of output from this cell, which would go along with what everyone seems to be saying. And I've been the last holdout. Here's another view of all the batteries, each one. As you can see, we have a charging circuit now on one of the batteries. That's why it's at 13.5. 60 volts. Each one of those batteries is holding a slightly different amount of charge. You can see it as the each one is changing a slight bit. Take another look at the total voltage across. This is across all four batteries. We've turned the current off. That's why that charge was so high. What we're going to do is turn it back on again and show you the amount of hydrogen it's putting out. Actually, hydrogen and oxygen together. In one of the videos, if you go back and look, you'll see how much more hydrogen comes up than oxygen. So what we're looking at is basically hydrogen. We're going to turn it on, and you'll see how quickly the hydrogen comes up. There you go. And that's only with four plates. And we have over 15 plates in the Series 3. So you can imagine what 15 or 16 plates would look like in here now, running at 100, running at uh, 40 volts. You can see each battery is holding a different charge. They weren't all set up with the same charge. One was low and one there is at 8 volts. While we're doing this, I'm involved with installing the Series 3 into the car, which is the last video I showed you. And one more day, I'll have it complete. And hopefully, 
in a day will be or resume testing in the car itself. I'll have a video showing the car setup. 